So homeostatic imbalances. Homeostatic imbalances is disruption in immune system function. So it occurs when the immune system responds to some antigen causing serious and some fatal diseases. So it can divide that into immunodeficiency diseases, autoimmune diseases, and allergies. Immunodeficiency diseases is a disorder in which the immune system is lacking the ability to protect against pathogens. So it can lead to frequent and recurrent infection and susceptible to cancers. So there are two types of the immunodeficiency disease. So inborn immunodeficiency, which is congenital, so means uh, it uh, appear during uh, since the birth. Eh? So result from genetic or developmental defects in the production of human system cell or specific protein. Example like severe combined immunodeficiency disease. Of also known as SCID. So this SCID is a shortage or absence of B and T cells. So the person is susceptible to pneumonia and meningitis that can be fatal. So this disease can be treated by bone marrow and stem cell transplantation. Transplantation. Next is acquire immunodeficiency so this quiet immunodeficiency is developed later in life so it's due to exposure to certain chemicals or biological agents such as cancers drugs to fight autoimmune diseases or drug to prevent transplant rejection example of acquired immunodeficiency is human immunodeficiency syndrome also known as AIDS so this AIDS is human immunodeficiency virus uh, HIV which is attacks helper T cells so the number of helper T cells will decrease leading to a decrease in the number of B and cytotoxic T cells so the person is easily susceptible to infection and cancer since this HIV is attack or destroy the helper T cell. Autoimmune disease is a disorder in which the immune system fights the body's own cells. So the keyword is immune system attack itself fight the body own cell causing inflammation and organ damage. Two or three of the people with this disease are women. So this autoimmune disease also influenced by the gender, genetics and environment. So you see this autoimmune disease affects nervous, muscle, endocrine system, and digestive system. Example of this autoimmune disease is like rheumatoid arthritis. So rheumatoid arthritis is one of the autoimmune disease. It's a disease in which the cartilage and joints are damaged join a damaged and inflamed so causes deformed joints company with muscle pain weakness fatigue loss appetite and weight loss next is allergies so allergy is also one of the autoimmune disease so allergies are hypersensitive response to allergens so in this case, allergen is antigen. So allergens consist of various foods, drug, insect, venom, molds, fungal spore, dust mites, cosmetic, and pollen grains. So it occur in nasal, past age, bronchi, and skin. Example of the allergy is 
hay fever. So next, this is the overview of the allergic reaction. So this allergen is in initial contact with the B cell. So initial contact of B cell with the allergens. So during the first exposure, this allergen which binds to uh, antigen receptor on this B cell. So next, plasma cell secretes antibody. So the antibody is IgE. So the excessive amount of IgE is produced in response to this initial allergen. Next is the mast cell has IgE receptor on their surface. Therefore, this IgE will bind to this receptor. So this, then this IgE will bind to this mast cell receptor. So upon subsequent exposure or subsequent contact with the same allergen or the same antigen, mast cell, so this mast cell will release allergy mediator. So this event cause the antigen cross link between these two neighboring IgE and this event trigger the mast cell to release histamine and other molecule. So this histamine and other molecule or this release of histamine and other chemical causes increased vasodilation and capillary permeability with this finally will cause allergic reaction. The symptom result of this allergic reaction including mucosal edema, redness, rash, runny nose and sneezing. So allergy reaction can be treated by using several drugs or medicines including antihistamine or epinephrines. Okay, in this figure is relationship between mast cell, IgE and the allergic response. So, so similar with the previous figure. So, this is initial and subsequent exposure of the allergen, which is the second exposure. So, this exposure usually is uh, by the same allergen. Okay. So, uh, during initial exposure, IgE antibody produced in response to the initial exposure to an allergen binds to receptor on this mast cell. So, after that, uh, upon subsequent exposure to the same allergen, IgE molecule attached to a mast cell recognizes and binds to this allergen. Next is cross-linking of adjacent IgE molecule these two IgA molecule trigger a release of histamine and other chemicals. So this histamine or other chemical can lead to allergy symptom or allergy reaction.